Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rosera, and welcome to a brand new episode of a game called Tell Me Why, and it's part three. Um, let's see where this is going to take us. Um, so we've discovered the house, we've discovered Sam, we know a lot of, a lot more about the childhood these two had. And now let's see if we can get more information about the mother who apparently was maybe researching uh, how it was to uh, raise a transgender child. Um, so let's see if we can get some uh, some answers from uh, from Tess who we haven't seen in 10 years apparently. Let's first see who this guy is here. Um, hey you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Wow. Rude. <laughs> yep. Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Maybe gonna be roommates. He wants me to move, too. Let's go for... Bye. Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. Yay. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. Uh, that's <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut hey, up, I nice. used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. <laughs> Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Filling a lake with cyanide is just gruesome. <laughs> General store. Oh. I'm good at memory. Oh, here it is. Wait, oh, whoops. There we go. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy. Getting hungry. We're hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Let's. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those. What are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Mm, there we are. <sighs> Shit. Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Kingdom, Nicole. Get it? Because it's a dome? <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. It was. It was cute. King I Dome. I can't believe you didn't laugh. 
That was hilarious. <laughs> Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Even more memories around here or seafood, coffee, snow. They turned that van into a billboard. Yeah, Tessa didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing, though, right? You can't miss it. Definitely. Okay, so there's. There's a plane somewhere. Where's the plane? Come on, game! Don't give me the sound of a plane, and then don't give me the game, the plane itself. <laughs> Tessa tried to spirit that sign away a couple years ago, but Tom put it back. He loves that cheesy slogan. Veni, BD. Oh. Oh. Hold on. I just got it. That's kind of funny, actually. It's been up here for ages. Excuse me for not being hip to Julius Caesar okay. at 11. Hold also, on. I was my probably too busy music dodging just your snowballs to went notice. Away. <laughs> don't tell Sometimes me. Sometimes my keyboard does that. For some reason. Okay, so um <laughs> Tessa tried to spirit that sign away a couple years ago, but Tom put it back. He loves that cheesy slogan. Veni VD. Oh, I just got it. That's kinda funny, actually. It's been up here for ages. Excuse me for not being hip to Julius Caesar at eleven. Also, I was probably too busy dodging your snowballs to notice. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Hmm. Okay. Well, On there. Gospel concert, November 8, 2015. Mega messed up burger. Should we go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles? Let's do the latter. ATM, hmm. automated teller, teller machine. Wait, what? I think that's not what. Hmm. Survival on ice. Dallas Crossing. Live music composition. Hmm. Sign up. What does it say? Whoa. Oh, come on. Let me see what's going on there. Let me, let me see. Oh, hello. Wait. That's a Laura Mipsum text. What the? Oh, hello. Yeah. That's a Laura Mipsum text. I don't know if you can enlarge it or if I can see Laura Mipsum. Yep, that's Laura Mipsum. Well, nice. what are we waiting for? Let's go shopping. Well, are you a popsicle yet? No, you aren't. So stay about, stay outside. Okay, here we go. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Oh. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you? Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. Do that. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, complicated. of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Okay. What do we have? So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Yeah. You probably are. Biggest pumpkin contest winner. That is a big pumpkin. What's this? So, what are you thinking snack-wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Uh, do candy. Oh, man. I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency at Fireweed, like ramen in state prison. Well, you won't need to trade any shifts for these. <laughs> That's you true. Take a picture of this. Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. 
I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Oh well. I wanna know what this is. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Real famous pancakes. Let's see. That's what we Fresh want. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Let's mm. do this one. Plain candles are fine. Oh. Plain. Plain. Yeah, well. Like you, Ellison, you're plain. <laughs> I can't wait to have a midlife crisis and buy a boat. Maybe sail to the Caribbean. Hmm. Can I come along? You know, if Juno doesn't work out, maybe I'll join you. Sailing into the sunset sounds pretty good right now. Yep, well, definitely. You'll be welcome on my ship, the naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Boat puns are canceled. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, those life jackets are snazzy. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Oh. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. And I'm still debating whether to get the off-brand cola or something fancy. Like orange soda. Man, I haven't shopped like this in ages. Take your time and enjoy it. <coughs> Damn. That's a pretty detailed map, I guess. All the different kinds of fish. I like fishing as well, but I don't do it. I did hey, Tyler, it. Tyler, remember the Trout King? No way, it's still here. I thought Tom would have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It nice. was a 12 pounder. We can hear you. Oh, no, he can hear us. Mm. That pumpkin's huge. So what do Any we do? Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Totally agree. Um, let's take this one. Mm, organic's better. Is it? Where did, where did you leave that? How big are your uh, your your pockets? Holy crap! You had something to say? To say? Oh, the spray paint. Inventory, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? This place is. A I mess. don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> you really saved my ass when you caught that. Yeah, <laughs> and you still owe me for it. Anyway, oh. how's your day going? Uh, you found something. Yeah. Uh... We found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. Uh, that's true. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. That's great. You're a good friend. So, what's more there to investigate here? What does that say? Orange get orange aid? My nude papillon? Hey, if we buy ice cream, we can keep it cool in the snow. Ice cream? True. In 20 degree weather? Ice cream in all weather. That's true. What do we still need to get? Something to drink. Yeah, something to drink. It's a right. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish grape soda it is. Ooh, getting wild. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. What's this? Lots of stuff. What does it say? The Delos. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Wait a minute! I'm reading. The Delos Dulcet Live free concert, the Catholic Halloween celebration, Friday, October 30th, 2015, at. 
7.30 in St. Stephen's Church, Dallas Crossing. Well, that sounds nice. Anything else? No. Hello. Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Juno's Jawbreakers, Fresh Meat Boot Camp. Interested in roller derby? Sign up. All levels of experience are welcome. Okay. Casting. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. <laughs> Casting call. Role of the Ru Rodolfo in La Bohemi. La Bohemi? 21 to 31 years old. Male, athletic, graceful, and spirited. All backgrounds. Singing ability a must. 555-373-0145. I guess that if you call that in real life, you're probably gonna get something or someone. Wait, Alaska Wildlife, Killer Whale. Oh, I love orcas. I love them. Caution, bear in area. Okay, good to know. Hey, there's the ATM. I'm waiting, let's pay for the groceries. Shut it. I'm... I'm trying to find stuff. Well, shit, nothing found. Will that, that be all? That will be all. Yes. Thank you, Tom. Hey. Oh, we... hi, Tessa. Oh, we Tessa. were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My God, you look like a completely different person. Ooh, it's me. You sound nervous. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. Um, I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. Yep. <sighs> What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. Nah, we're not going go that now. way. We're Best not of going luck for to the you, truly. Argument. What the hell was that? I told Someone you she very nervous talk. To talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Well, something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. If she had CIA training, on the tip of my tongue. she wouldn't sound nervous. And she sounded very nervous. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Oh, something's coming up. Something somewhere. It's here. Oh. Anything? Oh, here it is. Oh. Hey them, guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh, that's... Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Okay. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Wait, what? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay.
Okay. We remember that slightly differently. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is mm. it going to be? Okay, so what would be more... What would be more likely to happen? Would it be Allison's memory or would it be Tyler's memory? Please, let's just To me, I think as I know that if and that's more like a psychological standpoint that uh, and 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 science Which is it standpoint. Going to be? I know that the your memories can get fuzzy and your mind will make things up to make them complete. And, and and just color in the missing parts. So relating something to uh, something else might be a way of filling things up. And I did not hear it from this from Tyler's side. From Tyler's side, is basically just what it is. So I have what more. Going to be? I feel more like Tyler's f a memory would be more. Let's just talk for a yeah, few minutes. Just Okay. We'll, we'll choose Tyler's side. Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just okay, trying to help. Okay, I think I made a mistake. Help. I don't need help. Oh, God. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're no, done with the food I give you? The fuel? What? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? Damn. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. Mm -hmm. But once they got into the office, they both went at it hard. True. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Okay. No. Oh, let's see if we can get something out of her. Um. Let's see. I can go in here. Can I help you, Allison? No. Oh, uh, no. No thanks. I'm just good. Stay out of I'm my just side. looking for something that I forgot. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. What's this doing here? Oh. Oh. Some ducky. Okay. So now that we get that done, let's go to Tessa. Hello, Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? Um. Let's just press the matter. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll mm -hmm. have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, yeah. I was in the middle of something. No, he doesn't okay. want to tell. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. Yes. I think she knows more than she's letting on. Definitely. <gasps> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. True. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. True. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? Oh. We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. Could be. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build yep. as strong of a case as possible. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Good idea. Let's do it. Tom! Alright, what's that? Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, 
We run extensive background checks before each and every sale. No, mm. that's good. That's a good thing. Shouldn't just uh, sell, sell guns to anyone without a good background check. Well, Tom, let's put on some music. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? There is. Remember that song. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Oh, well, as, as long as it plays, it's good. Right? Huh, here it no is. Worries. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my taste. Couldn't be that bad, right? This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> ah, there they are. All the memories. All the memories of long past Whoa. times. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. I really like this mechanic. Of just that. Oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. Damn, that's carefree. I forgot how carefree she could be. Oh, yeah, that. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Don't just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. Uh, I but don't write know. it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. I don't know. There, happy? I don't trust yes. Tessa. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help your clothes. Like I promised. I don't Just trust Tessa. She was Something's wrong with her. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. Okay. There's something really weird going on. Wait, where's this? No. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No. No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Can you beat some? I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, oh. please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Wait. She just gave him uh, the pamphlet that we what do you found. Think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann. I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had hmm. a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true. I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. Yeah. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Good idea. This first. Oh, let's see them. Uh, Tessa? Oh. Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Okay. Uh, the, uh, let's see. October 28th, 2015, 6, 2020. Uh, no, 2219. Barb.mayfield at dmail.com. <laughs> the elephant in the room. I know y'all don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa has flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't showed up in a week's. I know we were all moved beyond words by her performance of Danny Boy at Carl's funeral, but 
what good is a beautiful voice if you can't show up on time every week like everybody else? I think we should start planning the Winter Gala without her. Thoughts? Barb. See us today, Robin Williams. Okay. Uh, November 1st, 2015. Aquino.nicole at the email. Thank you. Hey, Tessie. I just got back from my work from my workation and found the girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said they were riding high when he picked them up for from your place today and apparently you got them both to eat kare kare. Please let me know how let me know what saint you prayed to to pull that off. Lol. All morning they've been going on and on about their camping trip with Auntie Tessa and all this all these hmm? all the s'mores what are s'mores if you know what s'mores are let me know in the description I have no clue what s'mores are um, Auntie Tessie and all the the s'mores they ate and bugs they caught I can't remember the last time they were both this happy at the same time usually it's only it's one happy the other one crying I know you're busy with the store and getting ready for the first lady, so thank you for taking time off, uh, taking time for them, and so so sorry for the le about the last minute drop off. You know how work has been. Uh, let's scroll down. Somewhere. Um, the girls say we love you, Auntie Tessa. P.S. You and Tom should come for dinner sometime. Adrian's has been dying to show him the new media room, which will keep him busy, keep them busy while we drink wine in the kitchen. Your favorite little sister, Notorious N.I.C. Okay. Your order has been shipped. Hello, thank you for ship shopping with us. Your order of garlic peeler kitchen tool has been shipped. Arriving Tuesday, November 10th. Click for more info. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I think there was a pamphlet. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Okay. Alliance of Traditional Family November Newsletter. One Watch Dr. Whitemore's, uh, Whitmore's talk, uh, articulating God's design for sexuality. Ten powerful Christian quotes that will change your life. A parent's guide to preventing same-sex attraction. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp, now in its 20th year admission for 2015. This is November 1st, on the 2015, 7-11, seven, okay. So November 1st. November 2nd, urgent, don't miss this opportunity. What if I told you the government owned you up to 10,000 cash to go to school? This is not a loan, you won't have to pay it back. This is not a scam, take this seriously. Click below to take a two-minute questionnaire and claim your money. Click here to let us know if, you, if you'd if you prefer check or direct deposit. Why is everything in, in capital letters in that last sentence? That's weird. I guess. I guess, but it's just, it's just, just a guess, of course. Don't, don't, don't pin me on this, but might it be a scam? Even though it says it's not. I guess. I guess so. But let's not talk about it. It's not my uh, computer. It's Tessa's computer. So if she would likes to get scammed, let's. Can let I her help get you, Allison? No. Oh, uh, no, no, thanks. I'm good. I'm yep. just looking for something that I forgot. Again. Wait, what's that? Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Ah, what a coincidence. Okay, so what's in this? Elijah, June, twenty-four dollars for a meal at the restaurant, paid off. September eleventh, doll for the kit. Okay. Next page. Eric B. Eric B. February fifty dollars. March paid off. February's debt. September twenty dollars for gas paid in full. Okay. That's good. Oh, Marianne. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October two thousand four. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Okay, Marianne, April fifty dollars for gas paid off, so that's okay. May thirty-seven grocer dollars groceries plus thirty new jacket for Ellison paid off, helped at the store. Okay, so then everything was good. June twenty twenty-one dollars for med medicine paid off, so that's also good. August forty dollars oh, groceries. Got it. 
<laughs> Hypothesis. What? August, $40 groceries paid off. Help during rush inventory. Okay, so that's a good as well. October, $140 for washing machine repairs. No show. What are November. we waiting for? Let's go talk to Tessa. Can I read for a bit? Um, okay. November, $55. No new shoes for kids. Check bounced. December, no show. No returning calls. January, no show. Okay. Am I moving back then? Yeah, okay. Moving back. So that's not something I need. Okay, so I guess I can confront test then. Probably gonna make mistakes, but who knows? Anyway, Tess, friend, I need to. Is there something I can do for you? you? We remembered details. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Probably October. I guess. Because that's the... October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. True. Yeah. We didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Mm. You were mad? Uh, you were mad because she built... Uh, you were mad she built on you? You told her about the camp she was done being judged. I think the camp, because that's something that came we up. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. Mm-hmm. What camp? What camp? Uh, Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. That camp. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T you, what? Look, your mother was in a bad place. It hey. was clear she was coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Hmm. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help both of you at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. From what I've seen, that's Do you know what they do to kids in those places? Probably. I do. Now. Oh. How did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. Wait, what, really? And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. What? She loved you. Wow. Listen, I oh. don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Wow. It was a hard fought conversation, but she did give what was going on. Wow. From the start, you were thinking that the mother Can was grab our groceries? trying to kill him, but... Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, yeah. thanks. Bye, Tom. Wow. See you later. Wow. That... What are you thinking? Just, uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she... had my back? What was going on then? It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. What was she going She still tried to kill me. Yeah, that's something I don't understand. But I guess that's she not was what happened. To protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. It, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. True. God, I could use a smoke. Don't. <sighs> You're speaking my language. No, don't smoke. What? Sorry, I'm just... 
thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Wow. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Yeah, Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Damn, living your life thinking your mother tried to kill you and then hearing that she even supported you. But why was she walking around with a the gun then? I don't understand. What's going on? There's something fishy going on. I don't know. It's still not clear what's going on. At least it's sounding more and more like the mother wasn't really a bad person or something. There must be a reason why she was going on with a gun. A shotgun. At that. Was it a shotgun? Something. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? Nope. In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. Wait, he can handle bears on his own? But what about drunk bears? <laughs> okay, that's not different story. Anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Okay, let's see what's going on. Anything here? Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? Creepy? Yeah, I keep telling Eddie to get rid of it. He terrifies all the kids that come through here. <laughs> oh, what's this? National 100 Guard. One hundred percent college tuition paid. Join us today, get one hundred percent. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. Too yeah. soon, Tyler. Too soon. <laughs> Sucks to be a student there. Home sweet home. Mm. You spent a lot of time here growing up. Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Memo. Memo to all police department personnel. From Pleasant Bay Mental Health Institute. Date, October 16th, 2015. It's Subject... freezing in here. Yeah, shut it. Subject, patient transfer, 20, uh, 26th of October, 2015. To all Delos Crossing Police Department officers, please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients Dean Becker and Kevin Sutton will be transferred... To the Felland Creek Correction Center, Brown SBU, on Monday, snowmobile. October 26, yeah. 2015. Yeah, I thought you were eight. still here when it happened. I don't remember it. Mm. Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Gregs. Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of... Oh my god, that's the cutest. Oh, shit. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did oh. everybody <laughs> decide to become an adult? <laughs> so that timing was perfect. <laughs> Me and Tyler, we're on the, the same wavelength. Ooh, wait, memory somewhere. There's a memory. A memory somewhere. Over there? Oh, there it is. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Wait. You wanna... Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Yeah, that would be a bit cruel to lock them in a cell. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Okay, what's this? Open this up. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Huh. Well, she's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Ooh. Happy 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Another year to prove the older doesn't that older doesn't really mean wiser. 
having a have a kick-ass day, Didi. Then, enjoy your last year of youth before joining the bitter 30-year old lady club. Don't waste it, Rosie. I hope you enjoy your spicy those spicy chocolates. The mailbox bandit, huh? Happy birthday, D. Joshua, happy birthday. You don't look a day over a hundred. <laughs> well, that's nice, I guess. Okay, so that's done. Chocolates. Yes, that's. Wait, what's this? <laughs> Got the whole bay? Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? I don't know. Let's see, look. Uh, stealing from mailboxes. Forget about it. This oh. guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. <laughs> Goddamn. So, it was a bad joke. Dude. So, what's this? Let's see. On ten, on 27 10, 2015, at approximately 10 3 hours, Officer Grex and myself were dispatched to 239 Woodlaw Road to respond to a report of a theft. We've arrived at approximately 10 22 hours and spoke with owner Lawrence Cooper, DOB 157 1967. Cooper reported that the mailbox has been broken into. Cooper stated, I checked it two days ago because I waited. Because I'm waiting on my new phone. They made me pay extra for shipping to get it here on time. But I said I ain't having that shit. I'm gonna pay what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said it would be there on would be here on Tuesday. But this morning the lock was smashed to shit and there wasn't nothing in there. There wasn't nothing in there. There's a double negative. So the phone was in there? There wasn't nothing in there. So there was something in there. Probably that punk ass toe, do toe down. Note, toe down is a street alias for Jer Jervis A. Sello, known to myself and Officer Greg, and formerly number 12882, last known address, Elmeda Plaza Apartments. Cooper also stated he had been home all night prior to the incident and heard nothing unusual. Cooper went on to state, when I find toe down, I'm gonna stuff his his ass up his own ass. Oh, well, that's gonna be fun to watch. Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats. Cooper then stated his willingness to prosecute Solo so and really was hung out here a lot, huh? I mean, directed to seek Eddie charges works, so yeah. with the prosecutor's Is office. that so weird? It's just hard to picture a kid spending her weekends here. And where do you think kids spend their weekends around here? I don't know. Hanging out at a mall? The nearest mall is all the way back in Juneau. I went once a year to buy clothes with Eddie and did not hang. Did not hang. Oh. Blocked. Well, let's go upstairs. Something's in the way. Tyler, you coming? Tyler? Tyler! Get up the stairs, you! Okay, um, something to read. Armory. Ah, there's. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Um, it's an armory. What do you think? Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. Anything I can look over here? Nope. Okay. Oh, well, read. Chief Edward. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? Probably, but you shouldn't. The archives are off limits. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? I don't know. Could be. You could ask him. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. <laughs> Give me a few minutes. <laughs> Seriously? Sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back okay. upstairs when you're done, okay? Cool. I'll uh, make myself coffee a cup of coffee. Good? I don't. The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh huh. I don't like that at all. But I don't. I don't like. Wait. 
Oh lord. Something to remember. What is he guiding them to? Or us? You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Look, why can I look? Is there to look at? Anything to look? Why can't I look? What's going on? Why should I look? No. Wait, what? Something here? Going on. There's something here. Okay, open this. Oh, open. Come on. You can do it. Anything here? What am I missing? I'm missing something. There's a memory here, but I don't know where. Wait. Can I open this? Oh, I can now. Well, that's... Whew. Rose never lets me back here. Wait. Oh, there it is. Well, huh. let's me, let me examine this Rose first. Rose left the computer on. Use? I don't know. What's the pa How do I know the password? Wait, is there a password? Lock. Um, all police department personnel, Rose Jackson, October 29th, 2015. New administrative software. Please reset your password with the introduction of our administrative software. All employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Talk to Sally about Sally or if you have any questions, Rosie. Um, wait, there must be someone... It says crack. Crack. There was a... Uh, I think it was this desk. And he has things on his desk. So I can't must... believe they're going to prison for nothing. Is there anything I can see here? Because this was crack. Wasn't this... This was crack, right? Oh, no, no. Officer Joshua. Is this crack? Officer Dan? Hey, stop it! Officer Dennis? Can't see what this one is. This... Marta? Yes. Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. Mm. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Okay. Well, it's not really that exciting. Okay, so I'm... I'm missing th something here, right? I mean, it says... There must be some... Something somewhere telling me there is... Uh, what the... Um, because if I look at this, there's a memo. The memo is nothing what I need. There's nothing here. Like, it says that I could use the credentials or password or something. I don't know. What could it be? I mean, there's nothing really telling me what... Crack's password could be. This is missing. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. Hmm. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. Right. He never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing that I could use. Because there's no... Like, this is locked in this crack. And I don't know who crack is. I know that somebody... Oh, Joshua! Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's probably it. Hold on. Was this Joshua crack, or... 
Yeah, Joshua cracks. But then still, I don't know what his password would be. I can't believe they're going to prison for nothing. Hmm. A little confidential. There's nothing else here. Patient. Hmm. There's nothing else on this desk that would indicate what the password would be. So that's a bit annoying. There's a heater. Hmm. It could be password. Could it be a zero eight zero zero? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the password should be. How long it was? Could it be? No. Wait. The user and the password is something with letters. And it said that the ID, the officer ID and password. Talk to Sally or me if you have any questions. This is from Rose. Um, oh, I guess I'm not gonna get into this space, into this PC. This is, or maybe I will find something later on. Who knows? Okay, let's the uh, let's continue with the, with the uh, memory that's waiting for us at the door. So. Okay. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Hmm? What's that? Look. Let us take. Oh, okay. Let us take you for a ride. Want to see what the police officer does for a job? Register for the ride along program. For more info, ask Chief Brown at three seven three eight one eight one five. Talk to Chief Brown for more information. Okay. Cool. Okay, well, let's go to the break room and see what we can find there. Maybe we find what the number is, um, what the password is for. Correct. Okay, let's go in. Is this anything new? No, nothing. Wait, is that Greg's place? No, Officer Denise Williams? I hear there's a phone ringing. Guys, there's a phone, and it's ringing. Didn't Tessa buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once? Yep, but Uncle Eddie let him off with a warning. He and the other officers still tease him about it. I wonder if he has some- Yep, it's locked. <laughs> oh. Uh, nothing in here that would indicate. Oh, I can sit with you. Hello. Ah, oh, that's nice for the game, to find these little... What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah, on that paper-thin mattress from the cell. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here ten minutes and it's already fucking me up. I think it still hurts. It never really stopped hurting. And having nightmares too... Don't be weird with Eddie. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah, why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal. We'd be sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson, and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Um, okay. 
saying to him don't be weird with Eddie is more like be uh, treating him as a child. So I don't I don't want to do that. Let's go. Yep. I want to play the game as realistically as possible, or at least I want to. Yeah. They've let this place get gross. I want to make the game. Uh, I, I always I like and enjoy one. making a game more uh, look like it's it's more real. These are definitely <laughs> the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Days without bear sightings, four. Oh, that's a good thing. Let's see. So there's the coffee. First, let's see if we can have some other memories. Look. I'm not that hungry. Nope, I can guess you are. Oh, hello there. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Well. Cool. Okay, news. Read. Police Chief Braun asks Consul to reconsider budget. Dock strike to bring uh, to begin this week. Mayoral election candidate Tom Vecchi supports gun control money for local schools. I don't think that that's good. At least if the money goes to... I'm not going in. Okay. No, no biggie. Then we don't move in there. Let's first move this out. This is heavier than I expected. You don't have to open it. Okay, so let's go to the, uh, the pot. Let's make coffee. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Probably not. Hey, you okay? This is probably gonna make, put up some memories. You don't wanna have any more at least. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. What? Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. Wait. It's all gonna be fine, okay? What? What about... What was this about a lie? You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret... No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. That's true. Everything worked out pretty Uncle good. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Yeah, you probably should. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? It's the first time wow. I've been in here since... That night, Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here, um, have a seat. All right. Hmm? Ah, damn it. Oh, oh that's the vase. Sorry. What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Looks like it's as good as new. Okay. Oh, what's this? Look. What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest. Wait, it's Hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. They left this on there for 10 years. Damn, that's uh, some dedication. Anything else here? Oh, what's that? Huh. Hello there. What's that back there? No way. Take Have it. you been hiding back here all this time? Wait, for 10 years they never cleaned this up? That's uh, wait, what are you doing? New collectible, the Ice King. Okay. Oh, well, I think we're done here. 
Let's go upstairs. See what. Uh... Oh, there's something here. Oh, hello. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Well. Interesting. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry. Trying to deal, but it's a lot. Yeah, I could imagine. I can imagine it's a lot. Where you go? Where you going, bro? Where are you going? Let's go upstairs. Come with me. Are you coming with me? Okay, you're coming with me. Okay. Hello hey, there. Sorry that took so long. Oh, we took long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Mm -hmm. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children of the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Oh, nice. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm Marianne worried about something. Uh, what were her last days like? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? Hmm. About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. Hmm. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew where to hate anyone for being unconventional. Hmm. Usually. It's the other way around. Um, what were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Hmm. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. Probably not, no. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Yeah, well... <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. Yeah. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help oh. us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be <laughs> sure. I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. 
Let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. Yeah. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? <sighs> oh, jeez. Eddie did, Eddie did his best for me. Being kept apart was wrong. Uh, this is a question that isn't answered like black and white. Oh, I hate game for doing this. I always try to think of the psychology behind some decisions and there's not in, in this story there's not really a wrong like could you say it's wrong to keep siblings apart for seven years yeah you could say that's wrong but the circumstances and what happened and everything it it doesn't it, it does make for a logical decision to keep them apart just to be safe and to give one in uh, to give Tyler in his uh, situation time to develop what he uh, that to what he is now so I would give I would say that yes Eddie did the best for Allison um, and for Tyler at the time and maybe that wasn't the best decision because nobody really knew what was going on because if I understand this right something happened that made Allison lie about what happened that night and if that's true and there's something else in there that means that everybody out there who came to the decision to put Tyler in fireweed and Allison stay with Eddie be a wrong decision because the whole basis on what on, on which the whole thing the whole conclusion was uh, came to was was on a wrong basis the whole foundation of that conclusion was wrong so, you can't really fault Eddie for doing something to which they concluded that was fed by a lie. So, if you put in false information, something that's not gonna add up comes out. So, yeah. I'm more with Eddie on this one, because I think Tyler is being a bit of a dick in this one. Because he, even though, um, like, Tyler said, are you gonna be a cop about it? Yes, because he's the chef and he needs to be a cop about it and needs to go through the normal processes because he needs to stay believable to the people in the town. Because if he's going outside the law, why would anybody else stay inside the law? So, and he, Eddie didn't say he wouldn't get the files. He just had to do it through certain procedures. So, I don't think that Tyler is in any way in the right here. I know it's frustrating. I know that some things could have been done differently but it's partially due to the lie they told whatever lie that may be so i'm gonna side with eddie on this one even though i don't want to ruin the relationship with um with tyler which i understand his frustration but i'm gonna go for eddie eddie was just doing his best to protect me to protect his family i thought i was your family you are. You are. Oh. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. Nope. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just mm -hmm. move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I... I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get Emotions. going. Emotions. You wanna grab a bite first? Never a good thing. It's on me. Or Don't at least. Send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay. Let's go. Emotions never help a discussion. Wait, what is that? What? Is that what? Help me out here. What was that? Okay, we're back in time, I guess. Stop! Yep. Stop. Okay. Are we going to see what happened? Allison! Allison! Okay, she said stop. She could have shot. Okay, she could have 
If she wanted to kill him, he could have. What the? Oh jeez. Oh god. Are we getting something supernatural in here, or is this just like his imagination? She's not really like this. What is she Please, doing? Please, mom. I'm sorry. I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. What? Please. Please. I'm going to... Mom. What? What is she... Was she maybe delusional? No, don't do it. It doesn't make sense. Huh? This doesn't make sense. What? Ow. Wait. Wait, Allison killed the mother? So that's the lie they were talking about. This isn't... This isn't... What? Jeez. Oh my god. So that's the lie. Then I, I'm glad I just I sided with Eddie. I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. No. Wait, no. I know that's for Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> Wow, okay, this is a twist. Damn, that's a big twist. So that's chapter one done. Okay, so I'm glad I sided with Eddie. Why? Because the whole basis that uh, Tyler was mad about, that uh, Eddie was being a cop at a cop for it, like he didn't want to give the um, want to give the uh, g give Tyler and Allison a chance to uh, view the the whole thing, and and was mad about not seeing. Listen for uh, for seven years, and then he turned 18, and then he couldn't. Uh, he chose not to see her because of what's going on and, and the hormone treatment and stuff. I'm sorry, but that's all based be on the fact that you lied to the police and said that you killed your mother. So, otherwise, the whole thing would be different. Then, Ellison would have gone to fireweed probably and come out at 18. Probably, um, and Tyler would probably still be or have changed, still be female or would have changed to male, um, one of the two. You wouldn't, uh, yeah, you would never know what would have happened then. But he was mad on Eddie for basically something he, they create a, scen a scenario that they created themselves. So, but on the other hand, I'm also not blind to the fact that there are, that there are emotions uh, involved in this. So, yeah. I do really enjoy how all the characters in the game have their own personality and really have their own, are their own character. You really know what characters are going through hardship. Um, the mother... I really don't believe she tried to kill, um, kill uh, to kill Tyler. I really believe that something was on was going on more because she said, "I'm gonna kill you," which is weird. But then after being stabbed, she said, "This isn't what," and that leads me to believe that she say wanted to say this isn't what it looks like. So she probably might be delusional or had something weird going on because um, 
I, I also don't know if it has something to do with uh, with the whole goblin story they're telling. Because um, they're having a whole fantasy world. And I'm thinking that maybe... And I don't know. Um, please don't let me know in the in the down below. Because I, I really want to find out myself. But I feel that there is some supernatural thing going on. Because they're also communicating with their minds. Uh, talking to each other. And seeing both of their uh their memories but damn I'm, I'm really curious about where this goes because i'm i'm intrigued with the with the whole idea of two siblings um trying to get to know what happened in the past um because the game starts out with a pretty clear cut um explanation that the mother tried to kill the kid because the kid try uh wasn't uh didn't feel a girl and wanted to be a boy so mother had troubles after the father died uh, or left i don't remember exactly anymore but yeah i i believe that there's something like it's not in your face and everything everything has its place everything's organically evolving at the moment um so yeah i'm really curious to what the story brings next um i have chapter two ready um so that's the next video uh, of Tell Me Why. Yeah, um, this video took a bit longer than normal. Uh, I'll just make it uh, one and a half hours for the ending. Um, so my thoughts right now is great graphics. Graphics of the game are really good. Mechanics, there's not really a lot of mechanics, but the controls are great. Um, haven't had any issues with it. Other than that I often use the Y button as to interact with something. Um, like picking things up. Um, but that's probably because I played some games that have that button configuration. So, uh, But no, uh, nothing. I really have nothing bad to say about the game at the moment. Like It's a really slow paced game. Uh, which I don't mind at all. I, I like games with uh, faster pace, lower pace. I don't mind. Um, as long as the story is good and... Uh, organic like everything is happening for a reason and you can understand why people respond to certain uh, situations because um, that's something that really makes things believable in this world and that's something you really need to have in this world because this world is based on those characters that you want to connect with and one and as you have to answer stories for Ellison or for Tyler depending on what view you're looking at it's it, you have to be in that that zone of those two and i hope that the game will not as far as i know right now that i haven't had anything happen like that but um i hope it goes the same way as the joker movie does uh where in no way the game ever um shows you a scenario that isn't with the main character in it um what made the Joker so amazing um, story-wise is that you go into the movie, you learn about uh, about the guy, the main character itself, but you never, the camera is never somewhere where he isn't. So everything you see in the movie is something that he's seen and everything that happens uh, and other people that respond to that. Um, you can understand why the main character does something because you know what he has been through. And you are not going outside of that like if if you follow these two characters and you move the camera away from them the whole situation and you watch a completely different scene somewhere else that would be really um disconnected because then some then you know something happened somewhere that these characters don't know so when you get back to them and they get in a situation where they have to respond to something. You already know that someone did something and you could respond to that. So it's basically like when you're at home and a family member takes your car, uh, for example, and they speed. If that is a scenario in a, in a movie or in a game and you, you play the main character that stays at home and somebody... And you move the character or the camera away from your your main character to a side character somewhere. That guy speeds with your car through a, a traffic light, comes back home, and your character you you are your character again. You're controlling the main character, and then it says like, "Did you speed with the car? Did you run any red lights?" And then 
it's something like, yeah, you know he did it, but you can't really... It, it, it makes a disconnect in, in the whole story, and I haven't seen that in this game until you, until now. Everything is focused on these two, even the memories, the flashbacks and everything. So that's really... Um, I'm really, really into this. So, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, I'll get back next week for uh, Chapter 2 and uh, see where that is going to leave us, because... They left chapter one with a cliffhanger, because I have no clue what is going on there. Um, with the mother, that is. Um, I now understand that they lied, and that Tyler said, well, I'll take take the fall for this, so you can just go out and, and live a happy life. But yeah, let's uh, let's walk through these uh, little things uh, for now. I um, guess that I'm going to see all the choices that I made in chapter one. So, Tyler and Ellison. Ellison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. That was the ring at the start. Um, yeah, and I accepted the ring. I think it was a good gesture. 14% um, refused and 9% threw the ring in the water. Well, that's a dick move. Um, Ellison was delighted to solve the princess riddle with her brother. 80% solved the riddle, 12% uh, busted open the door. Well, that's a. That's sad. You shouldn't do that. Tyler felt supported by Ellison's trust at the store. Fifty-eight percent chose Tyler's memory, and forty-two. Yeah, it's it's a, uh, it's not really. Well, I I went way too deep into that, like psychologically. So I I understand that that there isn't really. I don't think there's a bad choice in there. It's just a relationship that would probably be better or worse with it. Um, Tyler senses a rift between him and Ellison when he sides uh, when she sides with Eddie at the station. Sixty six percent sided with Tyler, which I understand. Most people would probably um, emotionally think they should side with Tyler, but I I really didn't, and I said why. So uh, that's I still stand by my decision that I should that you should side with Eddie. Uh, Sam Kensky, Tyler earned Sam's respect. Fifty one percent called out Sam. Yeah, we did. Tessa opened up to the twins about Marianne. 75% learned the truth, 21% didn't get an answer, and 22% antagonized Tessa. Okay, Eddie Brown. Eddie felt validated by Ellison's family plea when she sided with him at the station. Okay, so yeah. So yeah, that's it. Oh, we're going to continue? Nope, we're not gonna do that. That's for the next episode. So, uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what uh, maybe I missed, uh, what your thoughts are on the story, because I, I would love to hear what you, uh, what you guys have to say. Um, so, yeah, chapter two, next episode in a week. Enjoy. Cheers.